Hello, and welcome back to Danganronpa, another two. Last time we completed our investigation for the murder of Kokoro, and she froze to death, and it was terrible and sad. And I have no suspects, but I can say Teruya is innocent because he is our son and he would never do anything wrong. Um, yeah. <laughs> It was probably a much shorter episode last time because the investigation usually only lasts about 30-ish minutes in the series, so it's probably like slightly shorter than normal. I try to keep them around the 40 to 50 minute range. They'll usually go an hour if, you know, inter interesting stuff is happening or it's a trial or I just really want Toruya's attention and so I keep playing until I can talk to him. <clears throat> yeah. But anyways... Uh, let's get into it. I hope they offer tutorials of the controls again because it's a lot of time goes between the recordings. Usually I will record like six episodes in one weekend and then I will take a couple weeks off and then I'll go back at it. So it has been a while since I did the first trial. I don't know the controls anymore. This always happens to me though. I always forget. All right, let's go. Firstly, allow me to briefly explain the rules of the class trial. The results of the class trial will be decided solely by your votes. If you manage to correctly identify the true blackened, only they will receive punishment. But should you vote incorrectly, everyone except the blackened will be punished, and the latter party will be able to escape this field trip of mutual killing. To think we'd return to this place. But now that we're here, we have no choice but to get through this. Let's get through this mess with everyone. Now then, begin your discussion. We're looking for the person who killed Kokoro. Oh, where should we start? I honestly have no idea. Everyone, there's something I first needed to tell you. I honestly don't have any clue what happened at all. Everyone, please don't ignore me. <laughs> He's so funny. Mikado, you got some nerve to speak to us right now. Is it just me or is my identity slowly fading out of existence? I said this before, and I must repeat myself since it's only getting worse. You can ignore me all you want in everyday life, but you have to listen to me during trials. I, for one, did my fair share of investigating, and I would love to help solve this case with you guys. You got some nerve, eh? I agree that we need to listen to Mikado. Uh, are you sure? It's not like Mikado would let us fail the class trial considering the stakes. And even a testimony from a person like him is still important. Oh, what a woman you are, Sora. <laughs> He's funny. But most importantly, he could potentially be the black end. It's not him. He He's probably never going to be the black end, honestly. I'm surprised why no one's going to like murder him, though. Like, everyone hates him. I don't want him dead, but I'm surprised no one's gone after him yet. And though he might be a worthless, no better than a piece of shit scum. Oh, you take that back. He still might have found an important piece of evidence. You've broken my heart. If Sora says so, then I guess we'll be fine. And now that it's come to this, I'll show you my ultimate piece of evidence to restore your trust in me. Ultimate piece of evidence? Did you already solve the case? Well, no, not yet. Oh, shut up. You're making us all lose focus. Agreed. Well, like Sora said, we shouldn't completely ignore him, but I doubt he'll be of any help. So let us proceed without him. Now back to the start. Why don't we go over the overall flow of what happened? Kokoro would have done so, just like last time. Yeah, without Kokoro, we have nobody to rely on other than ourselves. Don't worry, sis. I'm here for you. Guys, cheer up. We can do this for Kokoro. Alrighty then. The summary of the case. I mean, it's easier said than done. How should we do this? Let's first talk about the situation just before discovering Kokoro's body. Summary of the case, just like last time. We don't have a clue on who's the culprit, but we should find the solution if we work together. Yeah, I need to read the explanations again. I'm sorry. Um, I'll cut this out, though. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> this one's easy. We're spinning. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about stuff. Yes. So we found the dead body around lunchtime. Sora, Teru, and I went to her to bring lunch. But there was no answer from Kokoro. And we became worried about her. 
And then I heard the commotion and joined you. So I called Monica to open the door. And when I entered, Kokoro was found dead. That would mean that Kokoro died around lunchtime. We should talk about our alibis during that time. We don't know that she died during lunchtime. I think that's what it is. The monochrome files with something about Kokoro's body and many other suspicious details as well. Let's discuss that. This with that in mind. Really? Oh my god, I was like slightly to the wrong side. <laughs> oh well. Boo. No, Shinji, we can't be sure of that. Why not? If the body was found at that time. Just because we found the body during lunchtime doesn't mean Kokoro died around that time. Even the monochrome file says so. The time of death is unknown. Speaking of which, the monochrome file this time isn't very helpful, is it? Probably because the body was frozen. Even professional police forces and doctors have a hard time determining the time of death for frozen bodies. Um, but if the time of death is unknown, doesn't that mean there's still a possibility that she really died during lunchtime? Certainly a possibility, but it's probably pretty low. I guess this is what we should be talking about. When did Kokoro actually die? Oh, wait, do we really need to? The culprit is already clear as day. What? Nikkei, you already know the culprit? Who is it? Who's the black end? Yoriko Kabia. Need I see more? Oh my god, it's not her. Why does everyone always accuse her? Huh? Yoriko is... Kokoro's culprit? Wait, not this again. Why is it always me? But you're the one who gave Kokoro her breakfast this morning, right? That's the only period of time that anyone would get a chance at Kokoro. What? He certainly has a point. She was already dead when the Sora crew had arrived during lunchtime. So the meal time right before this was when the most suspicious and Yoriko was the only one who visited her then. Wait, how could I have killed her? I was with Teruya the whole time. Yeah, she's right. The whole point of, join of me joining every visit was so that nobody would try to kill Kokoro in her sixth state. So that would mean you worked with her. Nikkei, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Nonsense! Teruya would never. He would never. Okay? He would never. So, you mean an accomplice? They have said time and time again, there was no point to being an accomplice because you'll still die. There's no point. I mean, yeah, he doesn't remember, but he, he, he's... We know him from the first game. He's not the type to kill. But there's no gain in becoming an accomplice. And Teria's not a void, so he wouldn't commit a murder in the first place. Are you sure about that, though? Sure, the chance that he's a void is low. But that's all. And the end, Mikado brought him here, right? I honestly thought it was ridiculous to trust a stranger so naively like that. That's crazy. I'm a kidnapped victim brought here because of Mikado. Okay, you're one to talk. Since suddenly pushing others as the culprit, I'd say you're acting suspicious. Just think about it. There are no periods of time for the murder if those two aren't in together for this. Sure, there are no incentives for the accomplices, but Monaco didn't outright deny the possibility. You. Nikki is such a jerk. Like, honestly, he's so rude. I want to punch him. The guys, say something. Yorko, I know how you feel, but he does have a point. What? We need to discuss this some more, but considering the order of people that have visited Kor Kokoro, it shouldn't be weird that Yoriko and Taria are suspicious, but we need to talk more about it. We're spitting. Kokoro's handbook, Yoriko's account, severed limbs. Why are you accusing me? The only time the crime could have been committed is when you visited Kokoro. I was with her and she didn't do anything suspicious at all. Like Nikkei said, there is a possibility that you two are accomplices. Kokoro ate all her meals until last night. And the body was found this lunch. So if something happened to Kokoro, it would have been during this morning. But those two didn't have alibis. Don't have alibis. There's nobody more suspicious than them. Okay, I think it's their alibis then. Are Turi and Yoriko really the culprits? I need to present evidence to show their innocence. Okay. 
That's what I thought. Yay. If we're talking about alibis, I have one, Nikkei. Sora. Yuriko said it herself. She went to the village right after she left to practice cooking. Yeah, and when there was no answer, we left the meal on her doorstep. And Yuriko went straight to the village. She said she was practicing cooking these days. And is there any evidence to back up your claim? Well, I did pass some people on my way there. Oh, I saw her! You were cooking some stew, right? There are plenty of witnesses. If Yorka went straight to the village afterwards, there would be no time for her to commit the murder. Yorka, I can understand, but what about Teruya? The entered cookers room every visit. There could have been plenty of chances for him to kill her. Kokura said she'd open the door only when two or more people came to visit her. Thus, under normal circumstances, if anyone entered Kokura's room to kill her, then we are dealing with more than one culprit. Now that Yorko's alibi has been confirmed, it, wouldn't ha it would have been impossible for Teruya to kill Kokoro on his own. Thus, the, th the theory of Yoriko and Teruya being accomplices is disproven. Ah. Uh, no, this is too early for this stupid thing. No, that alone isn't going to suffice as a valid alibi. The evidence in Kokoro's room supports that. Sorry, but as a reporter, it's my instinct to pursue every last suspicious detail. So let me show you my evidence. Refute me if you can. Okay, what are the controls for this again? I think I got it. <laughs> please have only one, please have only one. Please have only one. Dang it! I don't know. Ah! Okay, whatever this skill is that the twins have is saving my life. You saw this day the corpse, didn't you? It was frozen solid. How could Yoriko have done all that in such a short span of time? It would be impossible to do that and immediately leave her for the village. If Yuriko was capable of murder, she'd have immediately after the crime have to immediately after the crime return to the village. There was evidence she was incapable of doing such a feat. Let's show that to Nike. Okay. I need to say what he says. Like, I need to read what he... Okay, wait. Shift. What was Setsuka's account? Oh, I think I know what it is. Oh, I know what it is. It's this. Okay. I figured it out. I had to read it. I have to say, the twin skill is so good. I didn't realize that that's what the issue was, was the delay. Because I am not having any problems at all now that I have that. Okay. I am glad whoever told me to chain out with them. No! I hit the run button. It's S. It's S. It's S. I hit shift. Okay, it's not that. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the answer is. This is the problem. Let's play the let's try everything game. Okay. I don't think that's right. I have to think again. I don't... Uh, I'm so confused. Oh, maybe I'm not hitting it in time. Oh my god. I'm going to be looping this for like a year. Oh, that was right. Oh my god. <laughs> I... Okay. <laughs> I was like, that's right. I just didn't hit it in time. That's what happened. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, okay. I figured it out. That really was not bad. Now that I have that skill, I just confused myself because I didn't hit it in time, so I thought that wasn't the right answer. <laughs> oh, I was doing that forever. No, Nikkei, if you're saying that Yoriko used liquid nitrogen to freeze Kokoro, that's wrong. What are you talking about? You saw the empty drum barrel in the room as plain as day. If she really used that to freeze Kokoro, there would have been some sort of traces left somewhere in the room. However, there were no traces of that. Kokoro's corpse was the only thing that was frozen. Right, Setsuka? Yup. No traces mean that liquid nitrogen was probably never used. Maybe she had frozen Coco in some other room before bringing her back in? That'd have taken a significant amount of time. Miki's proposition was that the crime could have been done in a short time. If Yoriko, our supposed murderer, had taken the body like that, 
it wouldn't explain how she was able to arrive at the village that early. So your country are innocent. I've been telling you that from the start. I know that from a time standpoint, we're suspicious, but Nikkei, aren't you being a little bit too harsh? Hmm. Hey, what's with that attitude? You got a problem, Nikkei? Now, now, let's stop with the fighting. Now that our suspicion on Teri and Yorko is cleared, let's get back to the case. I wonder what the liquid nitrogen was used for then. It wasn't used for freezing, but it was probably used by the culprit for something, right? So you know they left it in the room. No, that's probably a red herring. A red herring? But the drum barrel had a label writing liquid nitrogen on it. I'm saying that they probably just stuck that label onto an empty barrel. Where did they get the label from? That's my question. The barrel was not for curing liquid nitrogen anyways. The angle of the label was suspicious as well. Wait, then how did Kokoro get frozen? It must be the ice woman's curse after all! There's no other way that that person would suddenly freeze! Of course it's not because of the curse. But how did Kokoro's hand freeze? There was definitely something used to freeze her in the room, and that is... Okay, this is the one where I did it wrong. Yeah. Oh, there's so many. Is it like a fridge? Okay. Easy. I just don't know how to do that one now. It's probably the refrigerator. The refrigerator? The culprit froze cocoa with a refrigerator? Excluding the liquid nitrogen, the only thing we're left with is the refrigerator, but... Is there any proof that the refrigerator was used? Proof the refrigerator was used to freeze Kokoro. Those traces probably should do it. Proof. Proof. The divider. What is it? Yeah. The refrigerator divider in Kokoro's room was a bit loose. Perhaps it's because the culprit had taken the divider out to fit Kokoro in and then put it back. Kokoro's quite small, so if they squeezed her right in, she'd definitely fit in. Squeeze in? Watch your words! Not to mention, her refrigerator was set to instant freeze mode. If you've ever used it before, you should definitely know that it's enough to freeze a human being. Wait! Even if it was set to instant freeze, freezing some leftovers in a whole human are completely different. The monocle file says that she was frozen to the point that her cells suffered from necrosis. If she was frozen that badly, that means the culprit left her in for at least a whole day. Huh, well that means Kokoro had to be there since yesterday's lunchtime. Yuki, when you were there with me and Teru delivering Kokoro her meal, there was no answer, right? Yeah, but Yoriko said that the dinner was gone that night. That doesn't make sense. Maybe Yoriko is lying? Why would I lie about something like that? If your refrigerator theory is correct, that means that Kokoro should have been inside the fridge last supper. If Yoriko is the culprit? Wait, Yoriko never visited Kokoro yesterday. She never had a chance to enter her room. Then who delivered the breakfast yesterday? Me, Aroha, and Teruya. And you spoke to Kokoro? Yeah, we chatted for a while. Kokoro even wrote LOL on her iPad, and it was such a lovely time. And that means she was alive at least until then. Who was there for lunch? Me, Kande, Shin, and Mr. Teruya. And did you guys meet Kokoro? Of course, she complained about four people being too many. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wait, it's getting a bit too complicated. Can somebody summarize it up? Roro, can you give me a piece of paper from your sketchbook? Uh, okay. Okay, so... The first group was them. And then... Poor Teria having to go every time. Look at his goofy hat. So, lunch. Yorko went again, and then Nikkei went. Then, for dinner... Then day two, it was Roha and me, then it was the twins and him, and then she was not- she was last seen with the twins, Shinji, okay. Okay. If we summarize what we talked about, this is our result. 
Zetsukai, your drawing is adorable, and you drew such a good summary. I hereby tame you, the Turkey Notes Master. Zetsukai, you're good at studying, right? Enough with the drawing, and let's think about the flow of the case with this. This... If we simply think about this, Kokoro didn't answer since yesterday night. This means something definitely happened, then. D does that mean the visitors are right before then? Shinji Turi and the twins all together are the culprit? Oh, what? Where, why are we the culprit? I doubt that four people were accomplices. Especially when the chances of there being even one accomplice is close to zero. But according to Yuki, somebody must have killed Kokoro after lunch and before supper yesterday. Wait, that's impossible! I told you, it's impossible to enter Kokoro's room when it's not mealtime! That's a rule Kokoro decided herself! And I saw her dinner disappear, so she should have been alive since then in the first place, right? But that doesn't give enough time to freeze Kokoro. I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, poor Shinji, he's so dumb. This means that nobody is capable of murder. If somebody killed Kokoro, they obviously needed to enter her room first, and it wasn't during one of our visits. Hmm. Do you think she'd let them in if she trusted them enough? She was really smart, though. Why would she do that? I think the refrigerator is the root of this problem. Maybe the culprit didn't use the fridge at all. No. Considering the liquid nitrogen was just a red herring, there's no other way the culprit could have possibly frozen Kokoro. There's other clues. None at all. I think it means to say there's no other clues. But we could have only entered her room during mealtime. Hmm. This, this is a complete locked room mystery. This truly is difficult. I honestly can't wrap my head around what's going on. I knew it. It's the ice woman. <laughs> Roha. She kills me. Monocro, stop the trial right now. This isn't a murder. It's a curse. She's so cute and goofy. She, I love her. And this class trial. I don't mind at all, but I assume this means you've given up on finding the culprit. Well, that's not... I mean, does the culprit even exist in the first place? It seems like it's impossible for everyone. Is there any clue pointing towards the culprit? Even a small hint could set us back on the right path. Oh, Hibiki's gonna help us. Oh no, that's Kanade. Dean it. <laughs> I like Hibiki a lot. I don't like Kanade. <laughs> there is a culprit. This is a case where you think about the method first, it becomes more difficult. Then how about we break this thought process by figuring out the culprit first? The evidence pointing towards the culprit. I'm sure you know it, Sora. I have high hopes for you, Sora, so I'll help you out. How do I play this again? It's something with the arrow key. Yeah, I gotta go over this again. I'm so scared of her staring at me. Uh. Oops. Sorry, I'm sure you know it. I don't know what she said. I didn't read any of that. Dying message, severed limbs. I think the dying message. Since that was in the fridge. Does that make sense? I, whatever those games where they talk fast happen, um, read it yourself. <laughs> uh, it goes too fast for me to read it. I kind of have to focus up. That's it. The dying message. The dying message that Coker had left. If we figure that out, we can find out who's the culprit. Yeah, that's it. Dying message. What's that again? Oh, Shinji, you're so stupid. It's a hint that the killer left by the victim on their last breath. And you said there was a dying message left? Yes, the icicles inside the refrigerator. It looks like normal icicles, but if you look closely, there are letters written on it. Traces that look to be someone's nails marks. Presumably Kokoro's. What? F. O. The two of them are stuck together. Wait, so is one penetrating the other? So what does this mean? A dying message would be more intuitive. Should be more intuitive. This feels like some sort of code or something. It's very easy, actually. I've already identified the culprit using this. What, Kanade? You know who the culprit is? Who is it? And that I'm going to explain right now with this dying message. But we don't know what that means. Kanade, we are inclined to hear your explanation. Of 
course. If we use first, if we first point out the culprit, then find out the trick they used, it'll be much easier. Now this icicle looks like they're randomly placed, but there are exactly eight of them. And on each end, F and O is written. If you look closely here, two of them are stuck together, just like Nikkei said. The penetrated icicle is different from the others, as it has I written on it instead of O. So that means F stands for female. There are eight icicles and eight of us. O stands for others. So I literally stands for I as in myself? Yep. Looks like you've at least got a pretty smart brain there, Yuki. On one of the seven O's is penetrating I. Considering that it was Coco who made this, we can interpret the message as one of the seven girls killed me. Whoa, whoa. so the culprit is female? Oh, wait, this alone doesn't pinpoint the culprit at all. All we can get from this is that the killer is a girl. Well, we can take this one step further to deduce the killer's identity as well. What do you mean? Look carefully at the icicles. They all seem similar, but the I icicle that penetrated the O icicle, the killer's icicle is significantly longer than the others. Keeping up that theory that these icicles represent us girls. The lengths of these icicles are probably analogous to our heights. Somebody please summarize this for me. I am proposing this. The tallest out of all the girls is the killer. Huh? That's what the dying message means? That would mean the culprit is... Who's the tallest girl? I don't I know. I never looked at the heights. I'm gonna go around and look. She's She's pretty tall. It's not Yoriko. She's short. She's short. It's either Setsuka or M? Not you. Okay. I'm gonna hold my f Okay. She goes about where my thumb is. And I'm gonna go around and see where Setsuka lines up. Emma's taller. Really? Unless my thumb moves. She's the tallest. What? That's her best friend, though. The tallest out of all the female students. Emma Magrobi. Is it you? What? Oh, my goodness. Class trial suspended. Interesting. Well, that was, um... An interesting first half of the trial. I have so much energy. I just did the investigation. I just did the trial. I want to finish this, dude. I might just play through the rest. I mean, it'll be another episode, obviously. I have to cut it off at some point. I might just play through it right now. I hope that my computer does not run out of storage space, though. Um, interesting. Emma? That's, that's her best friend. Why would she kill her? Is Emma void? Is that going to be a thing? Is it just the killer's always void? I kind of hope not, honestly. What would her motive be, though? I'm so confused. Emma is a good actress, though. She might have never actually cared about her. I mean, she's literally the ultimate actress. Huh. I like that I literally used my finger on the screen to figure out who is the tallest. Um, hang on. While we're here, why don't we look at their heights just so we can see her versus Setsuka. So she's 178 centimeters. Oh, 170. Okay, yeah, it's not even close. I What is 178 centimeters in feet? I'm American. Emma is 5'10". Wow, she's tall. I'm technically taller than her, but she's an inch shorter than me. Um, cool. I love tall girls. We love girl bosses. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end this here. Emma, the person that the dying message is pointing to, it has to be you. What? Emma's the culprit? H how come? Sora, why would Emma be the killer? I don't know exactly. I just solved the dying message like Kanade told me to. If the tallest person of the girls is the culprit, it's gotta be Emma, right? Yeah, but still. How, how could you? She is an actress, though. How can we trust anything she says? Sora, I'm trying my best to find the culprit who killed Kokoro. And you're saying that I'm the culprit? Even if you're joking, that's way too far. Rara, regardless of the dying message, don't you think it's a bit... Emma was Kokoro's best friend. Not to mention, she was the most upset out of all of us when Kokoro died. Yeah, 
Personally, I agree that this is going too fast. We don't have any decisive clues either. Maybe our interpretation of the dying message was just wrong? Are you all a bunch of idiots? Oh, what did you say? My interpretation is as sound as can be. Once we assume that Emma is the culprit, all of the mysteries will now make sense. How dare you? Why would you think that I'm... Candidate, you're beginning to M. There's no way that M could be. Sis? Would you please just shut up? If you're not going to be useful, get out of the way. Oh, creepy sprite. Uh, eh, Kanade? Hmm, seems to me that Miss Kanade has already solved the case. But judging by the reaction, it just feels like a delusion from Miss Little Sis. Oh, God. Oh, that, that's so creepy. <laughs> delusion? <laughs> Kanade, what's wrong? Sora. Uh, yes? You will not believe my reasoning, right? I believe that you can figure out how Emma did it without my explanation. If you're lost, I can give you a hint. She freaks me out. Emma's talent. Her talent is the key to this. Did she put on that wig that Teruya found? Emma's talent? Let's try out Kanade's suggestion. Instead of solving the method to deduce the culprit, let's first pinpoint the culprit, then solve how they did it. All right, let's focus. Logic craft, is that new? Oh, that's new. This, this is the skateboarding game, except it looks like she's on a little spaceship. This is just, um, Flappy Bird. <laughs> it's a brand new mini game. Black will fly from the right side. You have to make sure to dodge these. Oh my God, this is just Flappy Bird. I'm gonna be so bad at this, I can tell you right now. I have seven seconds to read the question and answer it after going, okay. Oh, this sounds very difficult. Okay. Oh, 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 it's lagging. It's lagging, it's lagging, it's lagging. Ah, 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 help, help. No, 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 it's lagging. Oh my God, it's literally lagging so bad. Yeah, um, I'm doing my best. I am so screwed. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, it's, there's not enough time. Oh my god, I am... If this series goes on a break, it's because I can't play this game. Okay. What is her talent? Uh, or actress? Uh, I hope I don't have to start the entire thing over every time. Oh, thank God. Okay. This is, this is going to be my new least favorite game. My score on Flappy Bird was like six. Did anyone ever play that? I was very young when that, very young, I was like 15, but I was younger when that came out. We're fine. We're fine. We can just tank it. <laughs> Who has skills for this game? Because I'm terrible at this. What does the ultimate actress do? Um, act. That that's it. The, that's it. <laughs> do we need a mini game for this? Question mark. This is kind of dumb. I mean, it's 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 cute. I like the little sprite. But the controls, goodness, 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 help. Ah, 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 ah. Oh no, they're yellow. Oh no, they're yellow. Ah, 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 ah. Help. Come on. Come on, Sora. You can do this. 
You've, pl you've played Geometry Dash before. You've played Flappy Bird before. No! <laughs> it's okay. Please don't make me do the other two phases over. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Okay. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You are the ultimate. This is your talent. You're the ultimate. Uh. Gamer. This game, okay. No. Tank it, you can tank it, you can tank it. Okay. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Emma's ultimate actress is the cult where it would be possible, disguising as another person. Right? I hope this is right. I mean, she's not the ultimate cosplayer. <laughs> At least I got all those right. But did we really need a mini game to be like, what does the ultimate actress do? I wonder. Like, do we need a mini game for that? Let's be real. Um, I better have like a score of like 20 on this. Huh? Okay. I don't think I deserved that 90. We take it though. <laughs> that was so stressful. Emma's talent. Seriously, whose skill helps with that? I mean, I technically got it. It did not cause me as much trouble as some of them, but I didn't like it. That stressed me out. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at the type of game. Emma's talent. With the talent of ultimate actress, wouldn't it be possible for her to act as someone else? Oh, what do you mean? Our former visiting was denied because Kokoro's dorm room was locked and we all had alibis. Did she pretend to be someone else when she gave the food? But what if Kokoro... Oh my god, she dressed up as Kokoro. Kokoro was already... Kokoro was in the fridge when we went to talk to her. That's creepy. Because she doesn't... She couldn't talk, so she could hide her voice. But what if Kokoro, the Kokoro we met, was in fact not the actual Kokoro? What? What if Emma was disguised as Kokoro? And what if Kokoro was already dead? Then it would be, be then it would be possible. That's you mean that Kokoro we met was actually Emma, but So are you judging me because of my ultimate talent? No, it's not like that. Not only accusing me of murdering my friend, but also judging me because of my talent. Calm down, Emmy. I know how you feel, but how can I calm down after hearing that? I just want to avenge Kokoro. So, I tried my best, but <gasps> boo-hoo. No, I didn't mean to. She can easily fit cry, guys. Sora, I think you've gone way too far. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm the killer. Sora, let's think again. Maybe Con did me a mistake. This is too rough on Emma. Oh my god! Oh, oh that sprite is creepy. Oh, I made a mistake? <laughs> oh! Oh, I don't like this. Like, hmm. Ugh. I don't know. I didn't know you were all the same level as my sister. Disappointing. She's so creepy. Ugh. I you? How dare. Let's be quiet, Vicky. I told you I'll solve this for you. Why do you keep being cocky? Useless, Vicky. Only has to hear me and rely on me. You know, don't you? Uh, Kanade, why? <laughs> You're so scary. Aside from Kanade's intimidating face, I also believe that it's unfair to accuse Emma as the killer. We don't even have any special reason to doubt her. No. I'll trust Kanade and Sora. I'll take this side too. Oh, we're gonna do a scrum debate, I'm calling it. Because oh, I got something sparkly after hearing that. It's too harsh. Too harsh. Mm-hmm, shimmer down, shimmer down, little everyone. Notice how Shobai has not talked once this entire trial. Huh. The class trial is a sacred, honorable place for completing wisdom. So any conflict to be had is resolved with discussion. Scrum debate! I'm sorry, Emma, but this case can't be solved unless Kande's right. Let's calm everyone down and gradually share my opinion. Okay. Yes, the best mini game. Oh, Lizzie, you hate all the mini games. I don't hate this one. This one is great. And I'm okay, actually, with the rebuttal showdown now that I know how to play it. <laughs> Or I have the skill that makes it easy, I guess. Here we go! 
Get hyped. Oh, look at me caught on my team. Oh, look at those on my team. So is freaking Shobai, who's useless. <laughs> and literally everyone. Oh no, not. Toriyo's not on my team. I will cry. It's okay that we have one of two best boys. <laughs> is it possible to disguise as Kokoro? It's impossible versus it's possible. I love, this is my favorite mini game. I get so hyped. I told you, disguise, it's disguise. If you like my reasoning, then you'll understand why you had to disguise. No? Let me use the killer. There's no, oh my god, there's two disguise ones? Okay, that's annoying. Impossible to act as, it's this one. Okay. Even if she had picked me and imitated the appearance, she couldn't have imitated the voice. It's this one. Kokoro didn't use her voice because of the disease. That's no problem. That one worked. All right, I'm of different heights. It's height. Kokoro didn't even get to, out of her bed. We have no chance to check her height. Even so, it's not dorm room. Mm -hmm. There may be another way to access the dorm room. We just haven't discovered it yet. Okay. Well, that was kind of frustrating because it had it had the word in it, but that word was for someone else. Like time. How do we know that when you weren't even with us for the whole twenty-four hours? I don't think there's a need for such a big disguise. If you hear my reasoning, and then you'll understand why you had to disguise. Oh, wait, it's not this one. Wait, no, it is. Okay. Cookery, but it's possible to someone else. Let's act, 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 act. Dean it. Okay, I guess I screwed up. Okay. Final, final time. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I can't go fast enough. Okay. How do you know when you weren't even with us for the whole 24 hours? If you are my reasoning, then you'll understand why you had to disguise. Act. To act as her ultimate talent, isn't it? Kokoro didn't use her voice because of the disease. That's no problem. Kokoro didn't even get out of, her, out of her bed. We had no chance to check her height. And there may be another way to access the dorm room. We just haven't discovered it yet. Okay, what button are we gonna be mashing? Ah! Uh, Set go! Z! Ah! Uh, S! X! Where's X? Z! Okay. <laughs> I like how Shobai's there and he did nothing. Yes, Kane, do nothing! I'm gonna get some points off because, yeah. That was a little annoying because it was, I think it was Shinji said, he said, it was, I don't remember who it was. Someone said disguise, so I used the disguise bullet, but that wasn't right. I've I feel uh, like I've been wronged. <laughs> I've been slighted. It's okay though. I really do enjoy that game because it's like we're all besties. Like we're getting together. I just, I love the ones where like, I don't know. That was always my favorite game in uh, V3. And I like that they brought it here. It's so much fun. I just, it's hype. The music's hype. I love like the counter with the whole team. Okay, sorry. I just love that one. Wait, wait. There's no end if we keep arguing like this. I never expected Sora would do this. So when will we stop arguing? If you assume what I'm saying is true, then you'll realize the crocodile tears that she's been doing. Kana, you're way too harsh. Okay, fine. Let's assume that it would be possible for me to disguise as Kokoro. But even if that's the case, what would that matter? There must be a way for me to enter Kokoro's dorm room for Kana's logic to make sense. The balcony? Somehow? Eh. You can say that again. Kokoro's dorm room can only be accessed by Kokoro herself. Whether disguised or not, nobody but Kokoro could open her dorm room without her opening it. This is what we talked about at the beginning, right? Yes. 
In this case, the biggest problem is the method of entering Kokoro's room. Whatever the trick, whatever trick the killer used, he or she had to have entered Kokoro's room before murdering her. Hmm. There were only three chances for us to enter her room. You mean during mealtime, don't you? See this? We're going round in circles. That's no use to discuss the disguise in the first place. What are you talking about, everyone? We definitely had the chance. When we entered Kokoro's dorm room without even asking for her permission. You mean we entered her room without being invited in? Kanade seems to know something. I should listen to her more. Let's go! Do I have bloodstain, the balcony, the handbook? Hmm, I don't know what it could be. We'll figure it out. What do you mean we entered Kikuru's dorm room? We definitely did after a performance when she fell down suddenly. At the time, we used her student handbook to open the door. Right, we used her fingerprints to open the door. But Kokoro was still alive at that moment. There's no meaning of entering the room. What if somebody took her student handbook there in the middle of the commotion? And then left. what if she left the room with the student handbook? Then she can enter the dorm room freely without hindrance. And you're referring to me. Surely kind of these words made sense, but is that all? The locked room mystery, there must be evidence related to this among what I found while I'm investigating. No, what am I doing? What am I doing? We're gonna try everything. <laughs> you know why? Because we get double the amount of cards, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that, I guess. <laughs> I'm getting a really low score on that one. <laughs> 65. I was very confused. Kande. There's a loophole in your argument. A loophole? If somebody had stolen Kokoro's student handbook, obviously he or she might have entered the room freely, unless the auto power saving mode was activated. Auto power saving mode? You mean the system that automatically turns off the handbook if nobody touches it for a while? Even if somebody stole Kokoro's student handbook, as Kanade said, it is impossible for the one to turn it on again after it goes off unless Kokoro herself tries it. Maybe that's why they had the hands. I don't know. How about touching it constantly so that the power doesn't go off? That is impossible. You can't manipulate all those student handbook with your hands. While the power saving system is active, it shares the same recognition algorithm with turning on. It only reacts to the owner's fingerprints. What do you mean? Don't say complicated words. In other words, the handbook would go off unless Coco herself was touching it. As everyone else had explained, Kanade, you really doesn't make much sense due to this problem. Oh my god, stop making that face! Ugh! <laughs> Can I ask everyone here a quick question? What's this about? The bro has con constantly insisted that this case is because of the curse of the snow girl, right? Yeah, so? Why would she believe in such a thing in a fir the first place? Because the snow girl is known to freeze the one she hates and take their hands and their feet! And Kokoro died in the exact same way, didn't she? That's right. Apparently Kokoro seems to have been killed in the same way as the Snow Girl's curse. Or, as the official name goes, the Yukiona's curse. Well, anyone but Aroha wouldn't be dumb enough to believe in that curse. Who says I'm dumb? And why do you come out with that again? You're not going to claim that it was actually was the curse, well, right? Not at all, but... If it's not the curse, then why did the killer choose such a cumbersome method of murder? Uh, to promote fear? Nope, Hibiki. Please think before you talk. This is obviously a copycat crime, and of course the killer had a reason to do this.